Okay, so I'm going to show you how to um, install Calico on a Windows 7 machine. It's a multi-step process, but the first thing you need to do is make sure that you actually have administrative privileges on your machine. So if you go to the Start menu and select Control Panel, and then you click on User Accounts and Family Safety, assuming you're viewing by category, and then User Accounts, and then look over here, it'll say your user ID, my user ID right now happens to be student. And if under that it says administrator, congratulations, you're an administrator. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to get somebody else at your school um, who does have administrator rights to install this for you. Okay, so let's assume that you have that. You want to go to this URL, calicoproject.org. I'm there in Explorer. I'm going to show you everything in Explorer since all XP or Windows 7's machines have uh, Explorer. So if you scroll down on the left you'll see Calico installation. Let's click on that. Scroll down again. It may look a little bit different when you do this but somewhere down there it'll say Windows 7. And if you go down, step one is confirm you have administrative rights. Well we already do. So step two is download and install Mono. So we're going to do that. Just click on this link and it'll ask you do you want to down, run or save this file. I tend to like to save it before I run it so I'm going to say save. It asks me where I want to save it. I'm going to save it in ctemp. You can save it wherever you save, like to save stuff. Just remember where you put it. And then the download starts. Make sure that this box isn't checked. The close this dialog box when download completes um, and then you'll be able to just run it straight from here. So I'm going to pause while this downloads so you don't have to watch the whole download. Okay, my download's almost done. Oh, maybe I'll pause and wait until it's totally done. There we go. And when it's done, it'll give you the option to run. I'm going to just run it now. And yeah, I really want to run it. And yes, I really want to make changes. And it says, oh, we're going to install Mono. We recommend you close your other applications. It's probably a good idea, so we'll close Explorer for now. And I'll close some other stuff I have open. And then I'll say Next. Yeah, I accept the agreement. I'll say Next. And Next. Now, this is important. You need to select where Mono is going to be installed. And the truth is you want to let it install wherever the heck it wants to install, except you want to make a note of this because we're going to need this later. So this says C, Program Files, Mono 267. That's where I'm going to let it install, but just write that down for later. Okay, hit Next. Hit Next. We're just going to let it do whatever it wants. Next, Next, Install. And now you sit back and wait. I'm going to pause again. Okay, it's almost done. There we go, and it says click finish to exit setup, finish, and fantastic, you've installed Mono. So that's the first part. Okay, so now that you've installed Mono, we're going to download Calico. Again, we're starting it at this URL, calicoproject.org. And here we are, and we're going to go back to the download page again, so Calico installation and then scroll down Windows 7 and we did step 1, we were administrator, we did step 2, we installed Mono, now we're going to download and install Calico. It says grab the zip file, so we're going to click on that. Now you're going to find a whole bunch of Calico files here. You want the most recent ones, so today that happens to be 23rd of August 2011 Calico 064. By the time you do this it's going to be something else, but it doesn't really matter what it is. Grab the most recent one that starts with Calico and save. Ask me where I want to save it. I'll save it right here on in C temp again, but you can save it wherever you want. And this one comes pretty quick. There we go. Again, once it gets in here, make sure your close this dialog box um, when download completes is not there. I'm going to say open folder uh, this time. So let's open folder and here's our folder with Calico in it. Now Calico is a zip file. We need to, uh, we need to um, 
extract the file from there. Now I prefer to view this slightly differently, so I'm going I'm to click on View, and I'm going to pick View Details. Ah, that's where I was already, but I want you to see it like this, sorry. Um, and I'm going to double click on Calico 064. And now we've got this um, Calico folder here. What we need to do is we need to copy this folder somewhere else. And it has to be somewhere that you can leave it sitting around on your machine for a while. Um, now really, you can put it wherever you like, but it has to be somewhere special. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to say Extract All Files. So click on that Extract All Files button, and it'll ask you where you want to extract them. And this is where you need to decide um, where to put it. I'm going to put it, I have um, inside of student, I have my special programs folder. That's where I like to keep it, but you keep it wherever you like. And show extracted files when complete. So let's say extract. And it starts to extract. It'll take a little while, not too long. We'll pause for a minute though. Okay. Once it's extracted, you need to go find that place where you saved it. So in my case, oh, here's my My Special Programs folder, and there's Calico. Now, it sure looks like these are exactly the same thing, but this Calico that was the one we downloaded is in a zip file. It's still compressed. It's, it, we can't really use it. But this one, when we said extract all files, it's all extracted, and, and uh, we have all the data now. Um, in a normal format as opposed to compressed down to something small for easy download. So, what you need to do is you need to go into this Calico folder and you need to find the Start Calico Windows Batch file now. I'm in Details again. See what I did? I just clicked on here and said Details. And along here it'll say the type is a Windows Batch file and it's called Start Calico. Now there's a couple of other Start Calicos around, but you don't want the app, you don't want the file, you want the batch file. And what you want to do is you want to right click on that and select Edit. Okay. And it asks you, do you want to run? Yep, I want to run. And it's going to start up Notepad for you. Now we can make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. You don't have to do this, but just to make it so that you can see it better, I'm going to make this a big font. There, and that nice and big. So, what you want to do is, it says, having problems, read this info. If you get an error, what you basically want to do is scroll down, and you need to tell Calico where Mono got put. Now, in all likelihood, remember back when I said write this down, remember this? In all likelihood, Mono was put in one of two places. Now I told you to download Mono 267. So it's going to be in something slash 267. It's either going to be in C program files x86 Mono 267, or it's going to be in C program files Mono 267. Now the words REM, the letters REM stand for remark, which means this is something that the program ignores. Now because when I downloaded my version of Mono, um, I have a 32-bit machine, so mine went into the Mono 267 location. I need to delete the REM here, and I'm going to put an REM in front of the one, oops, capital REM, in front of the line that says the x86 version, because mine stayed, sh saved it in the plain old C program files version. Okay. So you need to do that and then save. And after you've saved it, you can close the file. And then what you want to do is you want to make a shortcut on your desktop so running Calico is quick and easy. So what you do is you right click on that Windows batch file again. This is the one we just edited. And drag it to your desktop and then let go. And you can't read the whole thing, but it says create shortcuts here. So click on that. And now you've got your shortcut. So now we can close this. Okay, so now you're pretty much there. Whenever you want to run Calico, you can double click on this Start Calico shortcut. It'll ask you if you want to run it. Yeah, I want to run it. You'll get this um, black window for a minute, 
and in a second you'll get this nice pretty window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the font a bit bigger again so you can read things a little bit easier. So I'm just doing options make font larger. You don't have to do this unless you're making a screencast. But once you've done that, you can tell to do something, test it out. So you could say, for example, what is 3 plus 4 and hit enter. And down at the bottom here it says 3 plus 4 is 7. So magic, you've got Calico up and running. Good job. Have fun.